Hi, Justin Deering here, uh, and uh, we're not going to talk about this plane. We're going to talk about his big brother. Pardon my dishwasher. Uh, yeah, so basically, um, this is probably the cheapest plane in AliExpress, uh, plentifully available. Uh, and uh, I originally assumed it was like a clone of a Japanese-style plane, but 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 uh, like I said in my last video, definitely, um, I'm pretty sure it, it, it's a... Chinese style, but this this is a traditional Chinese uh, style, at least uh, according to several YouTuber uh, carpenters. You can build these, uh, you know, you have basically uh, these either the type of wooden planes that, that the masters, that the Chinese master carpenters and woodworkers would, would build themselves. Um, let's take a little look at it while we set it up, okay? So, uh, let's talk about fit and finish. So it came here, a little rubber protection over here. Um, and that's for safety. Let's let's be. I mean, even if this is sharp, uh, I'm gonna have to work on this. Okay, comes in some machine oil. Not not that's impressive. Uh, let's go take a look at that. Um, get out the Gerber. Uh, so we've got a screw here. So we've got a chip breaker. Um, uh, that's some. There we go. Okay. Does indeed need a pretty beefy screw here. Pretty beefy. Uh, so it's so bigger than a pan head screw is a truss head screw, but that's a flat, like a flat unrecessed head. Okay, so yeah. Really greased up in here. Um, I'm kind of impressed with that. Uh, thread size. Okay, let's look at the thread size. So it's Okay, it's not 516, it's probably not 8 millimeters, probably 10 millimeter. Um, once again, like I've been surprised with some of the stuff from AliExpress. You get like SAE threads and the weirdest things. Um, like a mini pin vise. Uh, that, you know, had a 3824. So anyway, okay, fine. But anyway. Um, so let's, let's work on, okay, so we've got basically a, uh, that's curved over here, so that's the chip breaker over here, so we're going to just sharpen up the end of that a little bit. Um, we're not going to use the, uh, the 80 grit, uh, sandpaper, we probably won't use it at all. And, uh, yeah, that's a pretty beefy iron, it's pretty thick, I forgot to bring that, but that's, that's a thick iron, and I don't think this is the greatest steel, uh, but, uh, and, and, and yeah, so, um, definitely just, just passed over with the roughest fly cutter they get away with. Uh, but, but, you know, relatively square fit and finish here. Um, probably the edges need to be, uh, smoothed out a little bit. So I'll probably smooth the edge of that a little bit. Um, so. So I'm purposely, yeah, I'm purposely like dulling the edges of purposely dulling these edges a little bit, right? Um, because basically, I, I don't want to... So it's going to be chipped. Actually, no, this is where we need to spill it, right? I want to basically not put scratches in the wood, right? So I'll just do that with this. Because it's just handy, okay? And we'll kind of... Actually, we'll just put this over here. Just so we can, we can properly watch me do this. Let's see if we can do this relatively quickly. Uh, so basically, I want to take the chip breaker, let's go shiny this up real good, okay? not going to cut anything in this video. We're going to do that in part two. We want to get that. Okay, so we, we've got a little roughness over there. But it's already a lot smoother. And yeah, you should sharpen your chip breaker. Um, it doesn't have to be the sharpest thing in the world. I'm going to go... Do 
you absolutely should sharpen your ship breaker. Um, just move in the corner over here. This is a pencil eraser, and this is more useful for uh, for like cast iron type setups. Now let's just flip this over to the blue side of this DMT diamond. So, DMT diamond plates are okay, but uh, so apparently um, there's two types. There's type where they're like glued on, which is like this, and then there's type where like the, the diamonds are embedded into the metal, like melted into the metal, which is a better one. Uh, but anyway, uh, these, these apparently don't last super long, but you know, they're good. Um, somebody like convinced me these aren't super great. And then uh, FreeBSD Frau on Twitter, uh, who is a, yeah, previous core, she, she's like a bigger computer nerd than me and a bigger woodworker than me, well, better, but better, better. I, mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I Really is super sharp over here, so you don't need to put like a micro barrel on this. But this is kind of curved, so I don't know, maybe I should. I don't know. I guess I'm gonna put a micro barrel on this. I'm gonna put a micro barrel on this purely out of laziness. Anything else? Um, that's pretty good. And then uh, over here, so we'll just this is uh, this is like a ultra fine stone. Put like a polish on there. That's not good. Um, I don't think I put a bit too much. Hey, what do you, you should not bang blades against your. be a little we're, we're gonna need a honing guide for the act we're gonna need a, a guide for the uh, actual iron um okay first we're gonna do the flat before we do that we're gonna, we're gonna do the flat of it now you don't have to do the whole flat of it um i could like figure out like what the shape of the blade is but generally there's a hollow on these things We just want to get the, but all that matters is like you have a little bit over here. You don't have to get the whole thing because hey, most of this is back in the plane anyway, right? So. As you can see, it's already getting shiny. I want to just get all these scratches off for this. I guess even this half inch is like way too much. Way more than I really need to. I'm going to start with a fresh side of here. You got to clean up. The grit builds up on these stones. Basically, the, the, the metal. I think this is where one of the uh, advantages here of, of, I think, you know, the, the, the uh, you know, Americans, you know, we, we tend to, like, get the hardest, you know, unobtaining steel we can. 
in our blades, uh, which makes them more durable, and when they get sharp, they stay sharp longer. Uh, but they're a pain to sharpen. I think, you know, these are just easier. So, so we've got some scratches going on here, but we're starting to develop a real thing. Um, but this is so much softer, so it's, it's actually... Um, you know, uh, you know, it takes, takes less time. We're at the 10 minute mark here, right? Um, they're watching me sharpen. Okay. And like I said, this is uh, you know this is this is, this is a factor for his playing in China, but but it is it is based on a traditional Chinese style, um, you know. Um, so I, I judge this as like I would judge like you know if I, I mean I judge well if I was judging compared to the budget Stanleys, you know the, the low end Stanley, those similar price point. Um, I mean these, these are this is this is this is better than any bench plane at, at uh, you know at Lowe's, uh, you know. Um, or what have you. Um, but I really wish they, they made, and I'll, I'll talk about, like, you know, everything about this is, like, they take every shortcut that they can take that doesn't affect the end product. Uh, like, it doesn't matter that this is, this is all rough cut, right? Because you always have to do this to a plane. Or unless you're, you're unless you're paying for a, a you know a Veritas or a, or, a, or, a, or a Lee Nielsen plane, um, you got to do this. You got to you know where where they just you know putting in that much work for you, um, you know. So just because they made you know a little scratch on the surface doesn't add more time to that initial prep uh, if you're doing this expediently, right? Um, you know, as I polish the whole iron, it's going to take me longer to polish the whole iron, right? Um, okay, right, okay, right. But yeah, I, I feel like this, this is like, I'm going to judge this like, yeah, I'm going to judge this as like maybe like late 90s craftsman, um, you know. Um, you know, and it doesn't have, it doesn't have that, that idea of that U.S. like super over-engineering, right? Um, but I guess it kind of does, yeah, so the metal's kind of thick, yeah, I, I think it does. You know, we, we did, and you know, like things were, you know, there was, look, things get better and things get worse. Everyone says, oh, things get, you know, whatever, right? You know, how, how many flathead... Yeah, everything in the seventies, you know, had had you know standard, you know, you know, slotted screws, you know, screws had to use a slotted screw around. They didn't have Phillips, they didn't have Torx head, you know, everything now, you know, the the, the you know, hi, is it keeping up? Okay, we're gonna pause this for a little bit. What are you recording, Daddy? Sharpening video. Okay, we have some guests with us, but I guess I. Oh, did I not keep this? Ooh, no wonder I wasn't like. I was doing this in the blue, not the. So this one. That was that was that was not the, the roughest grit, so that's why we um did this. So this is a little rough. Okay, little rough. Please tell me you're not gonna post it on Twitter. Okay. Daddy gave up Twitter for Lent. So it's gonna go on YouTube, but not Twitter.
So this is going to be like how daddy, how many more days to Daddy, how many more days till Easter? Uh a bunch. I don't know. This is Yes. For our viewers at home, I'm sure. I've never seen you say it in the thing. This is your first thing. This is my first thing you see in the thing. It is. It's really good. Cool. Okay, so we got this open. So we can get this to a mirror shine, basically. Um. Anyway, that one over there should turn that to a mirror shine. And this is actually overdoing it right now on the back. We don't need to get the soul to a mirror shine. But. So, Are you even answering your question? No. So we're going to put the micro... So, okay, so we're going to need the guide for the micro barrel, but I just want to get this part flat now, the bevel. And the micro barrel will just be a bevel on top of that bevel. No. Okay, so what we're going to do... Let me show we got our skid marks over here, right? Actually, we'll just do that, right? Okay. So we're going to go here. I want to make sure all the... On top of your camera. Uh, it is to prevent it from shaking too much. Okay. So I Those should... are really Can you hold it, Emily? My ungraded reference stone. Daddy, I wonder how your followers on Twitter are doing. Okay, so I think that's about good enough. We can just get that down. We can probably skip the black. Okay, so now we want to put a micro bevel in it, which we kind of did because we were rolling this a little bit, but that's okay, because the micro bevel is really the thing that really counts. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this in there. So I don't do anything that calculates the angle properly. I can get a pro, I have protractors. I have a protractor. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let that. You want this to basically lie up a little proud of the bevel, right? And the whole idea is if there's a it's a sub bevel, it's a bevel to the bevel, and uh, that just means there's less to start. Uh,
careful control. Has like a cast iron like to it. Um, very strange. Okay, so we're just gonna we're gonna put it on here. We're gonna Got a nice even micro bevel on. We're gonna draw the wire, we're gonna, we're gonna draw the burr off of it. Go over here. That was 50, so let's let's do this. Let's do this 50 times too. Let's, let's clean this one off real good. Let's get this. Should, I should really do actually I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray this down Windex. So there, there's another grade of stone here before, after ultrafine. Um, and it's most important to do this eraser thing with the cast iron with the bodies. Uh, because the cast iron, basically, when you scrap it off, it, it one of the, 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 the large portion of the dust is basically graphite, which is, you know, a, a lubricant. Uh, so we're maybe we'll do this 70 times because of the much smaller surface we're on. over here okay so the box over here has the assembly instructions and on the side over here it has like a fathier version of the plane uh, like with a dragon but like a dragon headed plane um, and and all be, the directions are in what language? that's Chinese it's in Chinese this is the traditional Chinese plane ok 
kid. Okay. So we got this. I am not a kid. Okay, so let's go reassemble this. Okay. Or would you consider me a sassy kid? Mm, what's this part, Daddy? So this is a this is gonna be beveled down. Oh, what's this part? That's 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 the wedge. The wedge. So we, we hold these in there, right? And uh Why is there a pig on it? I think we should just leave the we should leave them alone. I guess the chip breaker should be a little close over here. Actually, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm not even sure the position of the chip breaker. I'm going to use another. America. This one, this is a plain iron for a block plane. But I don't, doesn't have a brand on it, so I don't know if, like, the Stanley just stopped putting their name on them. But, I mean, I had the whole plane, so it's not just that. Um, okay, so that's it, right? Okay, and the other thing with this, interesting thing about this, as, uh, so Rex Truer pointed this out. There, there's brass over here, I guess, to extend the life of the mouse so the mouse doesn't, like, slowly wear out. Um, and then what you do is you... So, yeah, just note and finish here. It's all good enough. Like, here, they, all these edges were super rough, and I, I just hit them with some, some wet sandpaper. The edges were super rough. This is definitely machined. Like, this is this is definitely, like, CNC'd or whatever. Whatever it is, it's just CNC'd. Uh, so we're going to need our little mallet over here. This is probably a job for a bigger mallet. Okay. Uh, is that supposed to be a mallet, or did you just oh. make it a mallet? I made a mallet, yeah. Okay, let's go see if we can... Uh, uh. Okay, so that's it, right? So you put it in like that. So we're going to assemble this one up like this. And, uh... So that, that's super deep. I'm not going to cut in this video. I was not planning on cutting in this video even before it was interrupted. So this handle over here is tapered on one side. So, so first of all, it, it's tapered. So one side is thinner than the other, so you can knock it out. So this number 292 is all over the plane. So I guess that's the quality control number here. Um, but yeah, so, so it, it... One side is definitely tighter than the other side. I guess this side... Okay, so let's make sure it fits in the right way. Yeah, that seems tighter. That seems, that seems, nope, that seems not particularly tighter. So that one. Yeah, it seems to have less wiggle. Wiggle over here, right? So, so basically. Does it have to be even? So. Uh, no, I'm happy even. Oh, anyway. So the idea here is you can. Pull or push this. You can use the handle or not. Um, I'll cut another video. But uh, yeah, this this is... Uh, I expect it to cut really well. Uh, the other thing about this is... So apparently, ideally... So first of all, I'm supposed to like lift this. Any wooden plane, you, you got to let it sit in the environment it's going to be in. Oh, this this is like super smooth compared to that other plane. This is really well finished in this end. Super... And these are, these are different companies. This, this Aww, one this is, is so super... Cute. Super well finished. Um, but ideally... Um, this shouldn't be dead flat, uh, like in the European, like the European ideal to have it dead flat, but there should be a crown on the back, crown on the front, crown on the back, over here basically, so only like the, around the, the mouth and around the ends are doing that. Anyway, we're going to try this in another video, which, which was my final already. Anyway, um, Daddy, you try this thanks for watching, uh, have a good night.